<clears throat> yeah, top of the morning to you. Life is what? Real good. Some of us can say that, some of us can't. You know, I practice saying that every morning. That's why I drink it with my coffee. A little goodness. I'm doing my best to believe it, right? Because we don't always believe it. Well, I wanted to come out this morning, church, and just follow up with uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 12. We looked at verse 11 last time, yesterday, and uh, today we're going to look at verse 12. Just briefly, this is going to be real brief, I think. I just want to bring out a couple things. But here's what it says. Live such good lives among the pagans that though they accuse you of doing wrong, accusations, right? Ever been accused of doing something wrong? They may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day he visits us. Boy, do we look forward to that day. I know I do. But there's a lot of work to do. A lot of corona to fight. Yeah, a lot of things to put up with. A lot of things to build better character. I'm still a work in progress, and I know I probably am not alone on that. But Peter's advice here, just as it was in Matthew 5.16, write that one down. Matthew 5.16 talks about us being the light, okay? Being that good example. Um, not always easy to do, but it's possible. So Peter's advice um, here is that if your actions are above reproach, now think about that word reproach right now, disapproval or disappointment. Approach, so if you're above disapproval and disappointment, hostile people will end up praising God. People that are adversely um, against you, against what you're thinking, your belief, what you're standing for, what, you know, uh, what you're standing firm in will be softened. But the important part is that they're not softened towards you necessarily. You'll get a softer answer. You'll get a softer response, but that <clears throat> they are softer towards God then see our, our purpose is to turn everybody towards God. So now how we do that, it's different for me, it's different for you. Um, every one of us are different. So remember that you don't have to be me because you're an imperfect me and I'm an imperfect you. Okay. So Peter's readers here at this time were the scattered among unbelieving Gentiles, the non-Jewish, right? So they were the scattered among the unbelieving. Um, is, does that ring true today? It does. Um, maybe you are the scattered among the unbelieving at your work, um, in your workplace, and maybe even in your home. Uh, you know, it, it may come closer to, than uh, just work, but nonetheless, in our community, we are all scattered amongst those. So, who were inclined to believe and spread vicious lies about Christians. So these unbelieving Gentiles, the non-Jewish, they were inclined to believe and spread vicious lies about Christians, about light, about goodness, about the people following Christ. Now, do unbelievers also get vicious lies and, uh, um, you know, um, um, insults cast towards them? Of course they do. But this is talking about God's people, God's holy people. If we look back in Peter, 1 Peter 2, verse 9, it says, Once you were not a people. This is 1 Peter 2, 9. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Interesting. That once we were not a people, 
We were not God's chosen people because we had not chosen to follow him. But now that we are his chosen, we have chosen to follow him. We have mercy. We did not have mercy before. Now, I don't know about you, but I want a lot of mercy. I need a lot of mercy. So pick me. Believe in Jesus Christ. He is the bridge. He is the way. Okay. Um, don't write off people because they misunderstand Christianity. This is really important. And this is just digging into this one verse, verse 12, with some commentaries and just uh, digging in a little deeper than just scratching the surface. But don't write off people because they misunderstand Christianity. So what do we do with them? Instead, show them Christ. How do you show them Christ? Well, I'm telling you what. We got to know what Christ looks like in character, in deed, and in action. And then we have to try because we're going to come up short. But you know what? Do your best to emulate the character of Christ and show them that, you know what, by their viciousness towards you, that you can still show love and mercy. That you can still show love and mercy. Hard, hard to do, especially in this day and age. Man, you know what, back then too, it's no different. Um, the day may come, I'm going to close with this. The day may come when they who criticize you, right? The non-believing, the unbelieving, the, the Gentiles, okay, of this time, who criticize you, you will pray, that will praise God with you. So there will be a day, and that's our hope, is that those that have come against you will be praising God next to you. Man, challenging, because there are some people that I don't even want to, I don't want them to be next to me, you know, but when the spirits align, when God's spirit aligns with his people, it's a beautiful thing. We see past the, the muck and the mire, the wrongs that were done to us, and we see God in people, formed in people, all right? So be blessed, be challenged. And yeah, and I mean that. Be challenged because challenge and fail today. Practice failing today. Why? Because that's stretching yourself. That means you're trying. So do good things. Show people the love of Christ. Reflect Christ. All right. Peace out. And we will talk to you soon. Love you guys. Bye now.